dirty. Uh, we're not here to cry and complain about what he did dirty or what I did dirty. I was victorious. If he wanted a rematch, he can get a rematch. You were in charge of the fight. You were aggressive and trying and taking advantage of what you, know you saw what I'm, the You know what I'm going to do? Because you don't ever give me a fair shake. You know that? So I'm going to let you talk to Victor Ortiz, all right? I'm through. They put somebody else up and give me an interview. Talk what are you to Victor talking Ortiz. about? What you, are you, you talking about? You heard him. You never give me a fair shake. HBO needs to fire you. You don't know shit about boxing. You ain't shit. You're you not shit. I wish I was 50 years younger you and I'd care. kick your ass. You won't do shit. You won't do nothing. Mark, it's dark days indeed, but this is a time for leaders to step up. Uh, and so to the, to, to, to the supposed leaders, I will say this. All right, Tim Howard. Tim, the Belgium game ended three years ago. We need you to save the ball now. Jeff Cameron, clean it up or let's get someone who will. Clint Dempsey, yeah, you're a national team legend. Now we need you to be a national team leader. Michael Bradley, the U.S. does not need you to be zen. The U.S. needs you to play better. Josie Altidore, is this really as good as it gets? Because it's still not good enough. Bruce Arena, Bruce, Jurgen Klinsmann lost at home to Mexico. You lost at home to Costa Rica. This is now all on you, not Jurgen. Oh, and by the way, to all the guys that I didn't mention, it because you don't even warrant a mention. That includes you too, Wonder Boy. So, what are you guys going to do? Are you going to continue to be a bunch of soft, underperforming, tattooed millionaires? You are a soccer generation that has been given everything. You are a soccer generation who is on the verge of squandering everything. So, now it's time to pay it back. Make us believe again. Dodgers have won their first six, and they'll go for the season series sweep tonight just as soon as the network stooge down there <laughs> says that it's okay to play baseball. The pitcher, Steven Matz, is rubbing up the ball. He's ready to go. The home plate umpire, Tim Timmons, looking suitably disgusted, just took his mask off and kind of rests it against his left hip as he helplessly stares near the Dodger dugout where said network stooge is holding all the cards. So suspended animation on the field right now. You've got nine Mets standing around. You've got... The Dodgers leadoff hitter, Chris Taylor, standing. It really is ludicrous, but now and only now do we get the okay. And so we're going to have a baseball game here tonight about seven hours later than we should have. And four, the loser goes to eight and five, waiting for the smoke to clear. It's about the stupid, i got to say, it's the stupidest thing in sports. There are pyrotechnics now with every pregame show, halftime show. It's doubly stupid in indoor arenas in the NBA and NHL. And this whole place was just full of smoke two minutes ago because of some garbage at halftime. And, you know, I'm going to say it once, and hopefully I'm wrong, but it's a disaster waiting to happen. This is Miles Austin up past the 20 to the 28-yard line. We check in with Andrea, if you can see through the hazy. But this is the third time in five games that a start time of 8.42 local was mandated. I can say with certainty, players cannot stand these late starts. Coaches cannot stand them. Most importantly, the fans can't stand them. So as we approach midnight Eastern again on a work night, a school night, a simple question. An 8.42 puck drop. You know, I don't get it. Braves are getting smoked here. They just gave up another run, and the organist is playing songs for the team. The guy's walking up to the plate like there's, like everybody's holding hands and saying kumbaya. I don't get it. A strike to Shaw. Something about that sticks in my craw. Seven to nothing. To Dunn. Watch out. Oh, oh, what are you doing? He threw him out of the ball game. You gotta be beeping me. What in the hell are you doing? What are you doing, Wagner? You gotta be kidding me. That is so bad. That is absolutely brutal. That's incredible. That is unbelievable. I'll tell you what. They have got to start making guys be accountable. That is totally absurd. That just tells you he has blue. Here's an umpire in the American League knows nothing about the game of baseball. That's unbelievable. 
And a technical foul has been charged to Kevin Garnett. And now Kevin Garnett has picked up the technical foul. And Kevin Garnett's been tossed out of the game. In the meantime, Stoudemire and Feldman talking up a storm to the officials. This is stupid. Believe me, this is going to happen during a regular season, and uh, this is absolutely NBA. It's stupid. They've got to have it. Oh. And they don't. Oh, my goodness. It just continues around here. It's just. Wow. It can't continue like this for Tampa Bay. Two years in a row, over and over again. The Vikings are not inside field goal range for Morton Anderson. Touchdown. Oh, Al Harris playing off, bit up on the route, and Randy Moss, without even really being able to run as he shoots the moon to the fans here in Green Bay. That is a disgusting act by Randy Moss, and it's unfortunate that we had that on our air live. That is disgusting. One by two, 198, inbound to Love on the left side with one dribble, goes up for the shot. It's blocked by Marion. The ball comes into the arms of Dalibert. The horn sounds and the ball game is over. The Timberwolves are screaming for a foul. There was none called. Rubio off to Love. Oh, that's a foul! Love moved to his left on Marion. Sean had his hand out. He went right across the arm of Love. That is unbelievable. The referees are booed as they go off the floor. Brutal! David Guthrie is right there. He didn't have the guts to call it. Also, go oh, Ed Malloy! 198, he was sitting right there along the baseline and didn't make the call. Marion went across the arm of love. Any replay you look at shows that that was. Coleman is into the ball game for the Owls. Hey boys, have a seat. Hey, have a seat. And that shot out of the corner. And we were blocked by all the guys who were standing up who have the uh, higher price tickets. Hey, sit down, boys! Hey! Hey! Hey, son! Not this time. Hey, either take my seat and let me sit there or sit down. We got a seat. Second and ten, eye formation. Looks like Driscoll, the deep man in the eye. Austin throws it out. Oh, no, it's a backwards pass! That's a line ball! It's a line ball! Go! 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 And that man does not have that call or the view. What is football? Horrible! Boo! Five yard backwards pass, live ball, touchdown off the board for the Green Wave. Nuts and bolts, we got screwed. Third down. 3.46 on the clock. Barb goes back to pass, he pumps. Now he fires over the middle, intercepted. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. It was intercepted by Tracy Porter, near side to the 40, and John Sullivan runs him down at the 47-yard line. You've got to be kidding me. I can't believe what I just saw. Looking at that play, he should have just held on to it, Paul. He should have. He could have easily gotten five or six yards if he would have just pulled that thing down and dove forward. But why do you even ponder passing? I mean, you can take a knee and try a 56-yard field goal. This is not Detroit, man. This is the Super Bowl. Jefferson is mailed as he lets it go. It's caught. Tolliver with one second left. 
Get your field goal team on. You have to get your field goal team on. Oh, my gosh. You don't have time to ground the ball. Terrence Tulliver and here. What are they doing? You don't have time to ground the what ball. What are they You've got doing? Play. Game over. Why do you not have your field goal team Should out there? Should have run his field goal team out there. My I think, gosh! I think they waited too long on third down to call a timeout also.